here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday. It's the 25th of July, 2021. It was on this day in 1972 that Gene Heller of the Associated Press broke the news that the federal government had let hundreds of black men in rural Alabama go untreated for syphilis for 40 years as an experiment studying the long-term course of the disease. The public health service ran the study. People had questioned it as being unethical and immoral years before, but they were cautioned not to. Peter Buxton, a public health service investigator, told Jean Heller that he knew about it. And she said it was just a matter of hammering on people until they gave me the information I wanted. She later described the so-called Tuskegee study as, quote, one of the grossest violations of human rights I can imagine. Four months after the story broke in the AP, the study was finally terminated. And by that point, of the original 400 men, 128 had died of syphilis or other complications. 40 of their wives had been infected, and 19 of their children were born with the disease. Here's a poem for today by W.S. Merwin, a poem entitled, Mr. Daly. Mr. Daly could whistle between his teeth, but just the one phrase over and over, it was in the good old summertime, and it made my mother sniff and shake her head as he pushed the big wooden spoon around and around the pot of flour paste he was mixing on the old coal range in the back kitchen near the laundry tubs that smelled of laundry tubs as the flour paste smelled of flour paste and Mr. Daly smelled of Mr. Daly in a stale shirt. He was old in his fifties with a hump between his shoulders and it was still summertime, and he would carry the pot up the back stairs to the heat of the attic where he had already carried the truckload of mattress cartons one at a time, got for nothing from the furniture store and funeral parlor on South Main Street, and he had nailed them up under the attic beams and then would paper them end to end with old church bulletins as insulation because the house was so cold in winter he kept laughing to himself about something while he worked and whistled. They said he was not like his daughter Isabel whom they admired who worked in Thomas's piano store that would burn down one winter with icicles forming from the jets of the fire hoses and the flames racing up inside the rooms until the top floors stacked high with pianos crashed slowly together through icicles and piano chords chiming in chorus while I stood watching from across the street on the stone steps of the Methodist Church, remembering Mr. Daly whistling between his teeth in the good old summertime. A poem by W.S. Merwin entitled Mr. Daly from his collection The Moon Before Morning, published by Copper Canyon Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.
Okay, parachutes ready. Boy, the things I go through to get on all on rates as slow as 0.99% APR for 60 months on new vehicles with PenFed. You are aware that you don't have to be a military member to save hundreds on your auto loan, aren't you? Anyone can join PenFed. As someone terrified of heights, I probably should have looked into that. Probably. Drop me off at the shore. PenFed Credit Union. Visit PenFed.org slash autos or call 1-800-247-5626. Advertised rates available through the PenFed car buying service. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCUA. Streaming only on Peacock. John Wayne Gacy killed 32. Straight from the killer's mouth. They want you to believe that I alone committed these murders. The new gripping six-part documentary series, John Wayne Gacy, Devil in Disguise. All episodes streaming now, only on Peacock.